first experience I, I had with the enemy, they dropped some paratroopers in our area. And not knowing if what was coming right after that, after that happened, then we really knew something was happening. But down the line where a division is, we don't know what the high command is up to or what they think. We just don't know. I mean, you, you just don't know. But anyway, they dropped some paratroopers in our area, and, and I was really sent down to, uh, at that particular time, to go check it out. And so we uh, we got, I think it was three of them, and we shot one of them in the shoulder and I wounded him. But uh, we didn't really know what was up till a little later on. That's when the Battle of Jabal started. That's when the Germans jumped off. And uh, about uh, three days and three nights, nobody, nobody slept, nobody had done anything. But really, the, the, really what saved the 7th, 8th Division, we were sitting in the Hurricane Forest. And uh, they, they went like we were facing east, so to speak. They went south bypassed us really because of the forest we were sitting in and uh, so they they went they were heading to the coast what to what reading later and studying the history of the war and and so forth they, uh, they what they were trying to do was to split our forces in two going to the sea split them in, in two and uh, that that way separate us and they almost succeeded because the it was overcast for about five or six days, seven days, and we couldn't get an air force in there. And uh, really, uh, they, they, they wore us out there for a while. But uh, once it cleared, we got an air force in there, and and Patton was in the 3rd Army, come from, I can't see whether probably it was from the east, to pull the 3rd Army up from that side to brace that force over there. That uh, that uh, That's when we kind of corralled them, and then where we were, we had moved down to Remagen that, that way. The 7th and 8th had pulled back that way, going there, and joined up with the 9th Armored Division, division and and uh, they failed to, to blow the Remagen Bridge, and uh, that's when uh, that that hurt because a lot of our troops, infantry especially, crossed that Remagen Bridge. I can't remember whether I crossed it before it collapsed or not, but... Uh, the ninth arm in the uh, ninth armor division said they captured that uh, uh, bridge, and that's when they were kind of pocketed them in the rural pocket there by four hundred thousand, four hundred, four hundred fifty thousand. I mean, and so that really that's what not only the seven eight but all the rest of them. That's when they were surrounded, and that's really what ended the Battle of the Bulge.